big event happening tomorrow. Fun for the whole family. It's the P1 Power Boat Races, and here to tell us all about it, I have Awesome. He's the director of P1, and then also two racers, Brian and George. Guys, welcome to River City Live. Thank, Thank you. you. So before we were talking, you guys give me a little bit of background about what it's all about. So can you, with our viewers, just give us an overview of what they can expect? Obviously, they're high-performance machines, and they are just flying. Yeah, sure. So it's the P1 Superstock USA Series. Sure. These are nine identical race boats. They all are powered by the 300 XS Mercury racing engine. It's going to be really exciting. The racing starts at 10 a.m. and it goes on to 3 p.m. This all happens at Memorial Park in Riverside in Jacksonville here. We're really excited. This is our fourth year going here. So, you know, the fans are hopefully all going to be coming out. There's food trucks there. There's going to be five races from between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And it's all going to be close action. And obviously, George here, he races in the Visit Jacksonville boat. Um, so we're all going to be rooting for him in Jacksonville here. And one of the things that's truly unique is that you were saying earlier that you have Mercury engines. So the weight of the boat, the type of the boat, the style, and the engine, they are identical for the competitor. So it really comes down to the driver and the navigator, correct? Exactly. We manufacture the boats ourselves, actually, so we have complete control. All the engines are stock, out of the box. Um, they're Mercury racing engines, so they really are built for the racing, which is what is exciting about it. And George, can you talk about you as a driver? What's it like to be there on the boat going that fast and making those turns? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, um, like Osm said, you know, it's, it's an even playing field. So that's what makes this exciting for us and exciting for the, the fans that are watching. You know, we're, we're all running pretty close to the same speed. We're really close together and it gets, it, you know, it gets a little sketchy out there sometimes. And Brian, you're the navigator. So what does that exactly mean? Like how far in front are you looking? Uh, the next turn, you know, uh, as far as I can, behind me, left and right, it just his eyes and ears so he can concentrate on, you know, uh, focusing where he's out, going. Where he's and going. then so are you looking at, like, how choppy <clears throat> the water is, how fast you're going? You know, like, because there's a lot going into it. And again, it really comes down to the skill set of the team because the engines are the same, the exactly. boat's the same, exactly. you know. So, like, how do you guys work together? That's right. The, you know, the, all those factors come in. Um, the boat runs differently in different conditions, so, you know, you're adapting pretty much every minute, every second to that. Uh, there's boats all around you. You know, I'm, I'm focusing on where we're going and what's going on in front of us. We're crossing wakes all the time. And Brian's helping me, you know, eyes and ears to know what's going on around us. So yeah, it, it takes a team effort and, and, and you have to be on the same page. It's truly unique. So you guys will be in the St. John's River. And if you ever think, well, what about the wildlife that's there, like the manatees? Like, well, how are they affected? Well, you guys have a program that you come out there and you really look at everything to make sure they're not there. Exactly. So we actually work really closely with FWS and Coast Guard, and we have a marine mammal observation program. So we have a lead observer, and she has to fly in a helicopter an hour before the racing, do a full scope of the race course in the area to look for manatees, because obviously the Jacksonville River, everyone knows there's a lot of manatees. We work closely with JU as well to give us a little bit of background of where the closest sightings have been. And throughout the entire racing, we have that helicopter and it's a requirement to have it hovering above the race course, not only the film, but also obviously to look for the animals. And if there is an manatee, we do have to stop and wait for the manatee to leave the race course before we can start racing again. So that is the only issue that we could potentially come up with today. And that's so important, and you know, I'm glad you guys are taking that beat, stopping and making sure that our wildlife is protective. And it's a big, important thing of what you guys do. Now, let's talk about the actual race. So it's tomorrow at Memorial Park, right? It'll be Correct. on the St. John's River. What time does it start? So racing starts at 10 a.m., and there's going to be five races throughout the day between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. It's a free event, right? There'll be food trucks there. So fun for the whole family. Guys, thanks again for coming out there. To learn more, go to our website, rivercitylivetv.com.